Well, temperatures are finally warming up in St. Louis, but hopefully that doesn't lead to the summer melt. That's how educators describe the gap between high school graduation and the beginning of college when many students already enrolled at a university don't make it to campus and never get that college degree they were on track for. But why? Tonight, the effort to put a freeze on the summer melt. So stay tuned. Stay tuned brings together local experts, journalists, civic leaders, and regular people to have tough conversations for a stronger St. Louis. Add your voice to our conversation and you're at the table as we stay on top of current events and go deeper, bringing more light and less heat to the issues that matter. From the Nine Network of Public Media in Grand Center, this is Stay Tuned. Some experts believe that somewhere between 10 and 40 percent of students nationwide experience this summer melt with significantly higher rates occurring among low-income and first-generation college students. On Twitter, Melissa James said that she wanted to quit every time she couldn't afford books. She persevered, but that isn't the case for a lot of young people. Obstacles like fees and transportation or simply not correctly filling out forms could be the difference between a college degree and never stepping foot on campus. So how can we break down these barriers and make sure those who have already worked so hard to get the chance to go to college actually do? Well, this is a, a topic we've heard from you a lot on this week on social media. We want to continue to hear from you throughout the show tonight. Find us with hashtag Stay tuned, STL, and we'll continue that conversation with you throughout the show. Uh, but we, right now, we want to talk to Laura Winter, the project director for St. Louis Graduates. Hi, Casey. Thanks, thanks for, for inviting us. Well, thanks for being here. This is an important topic that I think maybe a lot of people uh, aren't even aware of. What, what is summer melt? Define the melt for us. Yeah. Well, thanks for asking. So summer melt typically applies to the transition between high school and college when college intending students who may have everything in place and seemingly on the path towards enrolling in college in the fall somehow things fall apart over the summer months and they don't actually matriculate and end up in college in the fall and it's estimated to affect about 10 to 40 percent of students across the country which is if you think about it 40 percent of students not actually completing their plans to go to college is a tragic travesty yeah. so we should be doing something about that and in st louis fortunately we are we're thinking about it as a community problem, as something that we all have a role in solving. Um, and that's why we created something with St. Louis graduates called the High School to College Center, which we'll talk about tonight. Yeah, don't, before we get into that, I mean, I, I wonder, is it tempting uh, to think, well, we made it. Uh, my, my child, my pupil graduated, they are enrolled, mission accomplished. Right. Is that, is that a dangerous, uh, dangerous way of thinking? I think it's a piece of that, but it's also a sense of, you know, students, we do a really good job in education of getting students through to high school graduation in terms of we know what the steps are. You move from elementary school to middle school to high school. It's a kind of a defined path. And when you graduate high school and head on to whatever's next, whatever education steps you're next going to take or employment jobs up steps, um, it's a less clearly defined pathway. And it's the one time in our lives when we're suddenly without the support system that is known to us. And so wh where do you go when the questions come up and you're trying something new? And this particularly happens for students who are first in their family to go to college or to think about post-secondary education. And they don't know where else to turn. And they're not quite you know, familiar with the college campus yet. And they can't really go back to the high school, which is now closed. Um, and they're in this kind of squishy space of where do I turn for help? So it can be intimidating for even a person who has a, a network around them. I, I, would, I, I know, I can remember. Exactly. Um, every single one of us who's worked on um, addressing summer melt or helping students transition from high school to college has said the same thing, which is, I needed this kind of help when I was making the transition. So if you're the first in your family to, to consider college, you really need some extra help because it's a daunting process. How important is that first summer after high school? Because I know I can remember friends saying, well, I'll go in the, in the spring semester. It didn't quite work out in the fall, and then uh, maybe they never do. Right. Is, is it important to work on this melt the first chance you get? 
Uh, it's important to make sure that students are getting the help they need for whatever's best for that student. And so you can't say it's a cookie cutter approach, one size fits all. And I want to be clear too, we say summer melt talking about students who have a college plan in place and helping them stay on that path. But as we've experienced, many students actually don't even have a post-secondary plan in place when they graduate high school. And they're still needing help figuring out what their career skills might be, what their education path might be. And so we need to make sure we've got the full range of support that's available to them. We're going to talk about all of that tonight, as you yes. alluded to, and we're looking forward to it. First.